One of the pains of upgrading to a new device is having to transfer over all of your old data. This is especially difficult when moving from an iPhone to an Android device. Luckily, Samsung has created a tool that makes it a lot easier for you to switch. I'm Dan Graziano, and I'm going to show you how to transfer data from your old iPhone to the brand new Galaxy S5. The first thing you want to do is back up your iPhone to iCloud, then download the Samsung Smart Switch mobile app from the Play Store on your Galaxy S5. After launching the app, select iCloud from the list of options, enter your Apple ID and password, and select which content you would like to transfer to the S5. This method allows you to transfer your contacts, photos, calendar events, alarm and Wi-Fi settings, call logs, and even select apps. If you're not comfortable giving Samsung your Apple credentials, or if you're interested in transferring music and videos, you can also restore content to the S5 from an iTunes backup that is stored on your computer. To do this, you must first download and install the Samsung Smart Switch desktop software on your PC or Mac. If you don't already have a recent backup, you can create one by connecting your iPhone to your computer, opening iTunes, and clicking on the Backup Now button. Once that's done, launch the Samsung desktop software and connect your Galaxy S5 to the computer. From the drop-down menu, select the backup you would like to use and hit Next. On the following page, you'll be able to choose which content you would like to transfer. When everything looks good, hit the Start Transfer button. This will probably take a while depending on how much you're moving over. I also recommend disabling iMessages on your iPhone before making the switch to an Android device. Keeping it enabled sometimes results in messages not coming to your new phone. To disable it, enter the phone's settings, select Messages, and toggle the on-off switch to off. For more how-tos like this one, check out howto.cnet.com. As always, feel free to reach out to me on Twitter with any questions or comments. I'm Dan Graziano for CNET. Thanks for watching.